let me tell you. Keeping it real, keeping it rude. Uh huh. It's through the eyes of rude. Keeping it real, keeping it rude. Hi, here we are with a brand new guest. It's Jennifer McFarland. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Jennifer is here because she is involved with one of the people that is running for president. Yes. And it is Feel the Burn Man. Yay! So, yeah. <laughs> Thank so, you. If you're feeling the burn, make some noise. So, so, what do you think about the Iowa thing? Do you think he won or do you think it was a tie? Do you think, what do you think? Uh, I mean, I knew this stuff was going to happen. This, like, just. Yeah, it's going to be really crazy. Political bullshit. Yeah. And I can't believe it happened right away. Somebody like, said it. <laughs> like the coin tosses. And all that. Did you ever hear of that before? I never heard of it. It's just all totally insane to me. Yeah. Totally insane. So, I don't know. I think, uh, you know, I think probably more people came out to vote for him, but his chances of actually making it to the finish line, he's got a lot of I don't know. Him, you know? I, I, you really feel that way? I, mean, I don't feel that way. Yeah. I feel like he is like catching up quicker and quicker yes. and quicker. And yeah. I think from where he was to where he is, oh, yeah. it's like the other guy just dropped out, so those yeah, votes are going to go to him. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. I just, I just think that it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, I now, have you met him yet? I haven't met him, but I have a really now, funny first, story. Okay, this is a good story. Okay, I haven't met him, but years ago, I I've been studying. Buddhism and yoga for a long time. I actually taught meditation at the Three Jewels. Oh, I love that place. I've, I've gone there. I ruin it's a very East Village place. I'm a very East Village girl. I lived across the street like 20 years ago. Okay. You know? And uh, yeah, so it's But it's kind of funny that across the street is so not East Stabbing Village. Stabbing town. I know. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. know. But it I is, know. But still grow up in the neighborhood. Back then. That's, yeah, yeah, giant, right? I know. I lived with this like crazy like Blasian punk rock drummer for like a year and it was awesome but anyway so i you know i had this big background in like buddhism and yoga and stuff like that and there was a year where i went out to arizona to build these meditation retreat huts like wow. adobe huts wow. for this group it's like it's south of tucson it's near the border of mexico yeah, okay. mexico adobe. and uh, yeah and we were building these huts in the in the desert for meditation retreats like beautiful there's this one woman who built this like crazy spaceship hut i'm serious wow and check it out so when i was out there i was with this woman named heather and her, she was from vermont and her dad's a politician. And Bernie. So I realized two fucking weeks ago wow. that her dad is Bernie. Holy like, cow. Oh, wow. No pun intended. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And I, you That's know. Crazy. Are you still friends with her? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, I reached out to her right away. I'm like, Heather, your dad is Bernie. Wow. Like, just amazing. Does she know you're doing this giant she event? She knows I'm doing it. She thinks it's amazing. Did she know She's you were so doing it before you knew she, she was Bernie's cause, daughter? No, because you know, like, if you have 5,000 friends on yeah. Facebook, like, you can have, like, thousands of friends who don't know yeah. what they're doing. So that's kind of what happened. I've been thinking about her, you know? And yeah. then, so now she's now she's always on the news, like, in the background. Yeah, with her, her mother. And, and she's an awesome chick. That's, that's just crazy. Like, it's just another thing for that, me. That to made like, it seal the deal, that yeah, you know you're exactly. doing the right thing. Yeah. So just tell everyone what you are doing right now. So um, I am throwing the big-ass party for... Bernie at the House of Yes. So the House of Yes just reopened in this. <laughs> thank you. Big <laughs> ass party. <laughs> Big ass party. And I hope you come. I'm going to put you on the guest list, okay? Thank I would you. love for you to come. Okay. 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 With <laughs> plus one with Mr. Jesus here. Uh, <laughs> like it. Um, yeah, so it's at the new House of Yes. And, um, you know, I guess it just all came together. You know, I would, I'm, I just love Bernie. I've watched these Bernie videos. I'm like, I love him. I want, I've never been involved in politics. And I'm like, well, what can I do? And actually, when I went to his website to sign up for whatever Bernie stuff there is, one of the options was throw a house party. And I'm like, oh, I could do that. <coughs> you know? Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. So, yeah, so I reached out. I mean, the house, yes, has technically only been open a month now. The new space is open. And it is, where is it? It's on um, 2 Wyclef Ave, so it's right next to the Jefferson L stop. Which is perfect. Yeah. And it's beautiful. It's amazing. Wow. And I'm really happy to just be working with those girls. Everything today's Bushwick. 
Bushwick. Yeah, Bushwick, Bushwick. Yeah. I live in Bushwick. Oh, good. I live in Anson, yeah. the Bushwick. And um, yeah, so basically, you know, I just, I know all these crazy people. I studied Bollywood dance. My best friend is a flamenco artist. Um, I, I have a two-year-old daughter, and I organized a play group for us at the circus school in Bushwick. Ah. So I just kind of like my little Rolodex. I just went through, and I'm like, okay, let's just like, let's all do yeah, this. Yeah, then someone had me contact you. Steve. Yeah. <coughs> Good night, Yes, 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 Steve. Yes, Steve. He's like my... Such a great man. Uh, he's a, he, I know him from the scrap bar. Oh, man. Did you go to so scrap bar? No. I used to hang out at Z-Bar. Do you remember Z-Bar? I do. Because I was like hardcore, like New York hardcore punk rock chick. So yeah. You know, well, well, scrap bar was pretty cool. I know. I know. It was cool. They but just had those. too much schnapps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my oh, God. God. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they had every flavor of schnapps. I never saw schnapps like they had there. I'm and after sure. you do the schnapps one time, oh you, you can never do it That's again. So funny. Butterscotch schnapps oh. is all I remember. Oh. Yeah, I know. Oh my so god. Weird. Yeah, I know. Bad yeah, scrap bar. <laughs> they didn't call it scrap That's bar so for funny. nothing. Yeah, seriously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Steve, he moved. Yeah, Steve's in Detroit. Right. With his dogs and cats. Yeah, Who's Last Blue Monday was so fun. Yes. It was a really great spot. Yeah. But it was ahead of its time. Yes. Yeah, but people took notice, yeah. and he's just, he's still there in spirit. Yeah. I really owe a lot to this event coming together because of him, because, like, I am a wedding photographer. Like, I, really? I'm not involved in the scene. I just, like, I know all these interesting people, oh, and I yeah. knew <clears throat> one day I would just kind of get everyone together and do something fun, because I have no rules to play by. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm like, well, who gives a shit, Bollywood for it's great, you know? Yeah. So when I reached out to him, you know, I knew him from just around you a lot. Like, my husband used to live with Matthew Silver. You know. I love Matthew. Yeah. If you don't know who Matthew, Matthew Silver is, he's not Fiona's brother. <laughs> but it, did you ever go to Union Square and see the guy yeah. in the underwear very, running around? Very interesting guy. Yeah. yeah. He's great, though. He's funny. He's great. I love him. I do, too. I do love Because him. he's a genuine human being. He is. And he's really spreading love. Yeah, he is. Through he the is. portal. He is. He's amazing. <laughs> he's so, oh my God. I took my mom to see him. You mom can't shake your mom like, to see him. She's like, he's still living with your husband. Oh my God. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, but Matthew's kind of normal on the other side. Yeah, he is. He is. He's a sweetheart. I love what he does. I do he's too. got a lot of balls, man. Well, no pun intended. <laughs> yeah, well, Anyway. <laughs> He's so funny. Yeah, but yeah. let's get back to Bernie. So, yeah, like, Bernie, Bernie. do you think when Bernie becomes president, do you think that it's going to happen? I mean, I, I just, yeah. my daughter is right here, Harley, and she said, can you She's say the, the thing that that person said about that, about who wins president and, like. I don't know the source, though. But, but just say it. Apparently, there is some source where they do a study every year and they predict the presidency and they predicted that it was going to be Bernie this yeah. time. I think it could be. I think I it just could think be. it could be. I think it definitely could be. And apparently, they've been right every year. They've, yeah, been right they've every never time. been wrong. Yeah. There's a source out there that always predicts who's going to win. Yeah, I heard that and too. And the weird thing is, is truth is stranger than fiction. Yes. Like, look, I'm not anti. Hillary, truthfully. I'm really not. I think a woman would be great. I think she's experienced. I think she knows a lot. She's, yes. She plays dirty. Yes. She can yes. go in those back rooms with all those scuds bags from any other country. And, and I know. sit right in. I know. I just don't. She, I know. Does Bernie drink? Because I don't know. You gotta, I'll ask. You gotta drink with I'm all sure those he does. country people. Yeah. I have a friend in Vermont. All the stoners love him. It's most a lot of Yeah, I'm sure. Free yeah. pot for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the Legalize. first thing on the agenda. Yeah, that's the first thing on the agenda. Is it really? I'm sure of it. You know, he's very against the war on drugs, because that's just a bullshit. Yeah, yeah, it's for Republicans. It's so the Republicans keep like, making them. Yeah. Look, the Republicans, yeah. I have to say, I, I, I don't know if any of them I could even handle. Mm -hmm. But the Democrats, I like them all. Yeah, I, I yeah. do. It would be different. Yes. But I love everything he stands for. It is. It's just a hard grasp yeah. as far as, like, running things. It's kind yeah. of a joke if Trump becomes president. That, I, yeah, I that's mean, come on. Oh, that no, is no more. Everyone talks about it too much. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, no, 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 no. The thing is, it's brilliant. Because you're going to go from a black man to a reality TV star. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Like, really? We're like, yeah, we're very historical. It's so, like the biggest joke.
joke in the fucking planet. A black man with Jewish guy from Brooklyn. A Jewish guy from Brooklyn. I know. His wife's not Jewish, though. No, she's not Western Illinois University. Yeah. Has predicted it every year. Who does? Western Illinois University. Western Illinois yeah. University. But look, to answer your question, like, he's I like think a grandpa. lot of people, I think, okay, so one of the, yeah, he's like the grandpa, you know, I think there's all this weak, well, anyway, the reason why I'm doing this party is to kind of, I think a lot of people are interested in it. Uh, everyone yeah. I know likes Bernie. Is interested everyone in I know. Bernie. Someone wrote me that Bernie would love Ruin Who and that he would come on the he show. He would love it. Like, like he how? Doesn't. How do we get him on? He's just great. Well, I mean, he's so busy, we'll like see. fighting he's these busy now. caucuses. I've been trying to get him to do like a little video for a party, oh, a little like can't you get him again to do it. Yeah, we're, I'm gonna see. I'm holding out a few more days. They're really like I know. Now. They're in that and I'm like, carcass, I don't want to push too much. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the I but I think, you know, I think for me in the beginning when I got involved with Bernie, it was this like leap of faith to kind of be like, okay, like, well, I love you're it. into He's the meditation amazing. and all that, so you know it's true. You're trusting yeah, your God. Absolutely. And I think that's the thing about him is like, he's got this, he's got something guiding him that will. Take just him. guide him. Now I He'll can't be able to handle it. But I am sure of that because he doesn't have. He's this been in politics forever. Absolutely, and he's like a real servant. You yeah, know? I mean, he I knows. just think he's amazing. Yeah, and, you know. So I they're heard, gonna have multiple <laughs> soup in the White House. Oh my God! <laughs> totally, totally. <laughs> I heard the other day. They'll have the not the Seder. Oh my God. <laughs> the White House. That would be Seder. amazing. Oh, Monica at like, the White House? Oh my God. I know. Shabbos every Friday. That would be amazing. That, but that would be amazing. He's not religious, though. But yeah, that's good. Like, because you can't have, have that. You yeah. can't yeah. shut down he's on not Friday really nights. Nice. I'm he's, sorry, but like. Socialism is. Something crazy. happens in the world. Yeah, exactly. No, he's definitely not that kind. Those kind but of it's a good thought. No, make Hanukkah a national holiday. I Fiddler on the road. Oh, my God. It's, it's fine. so funny. Um, okay, I just have yeah. to know. Yeah, uh, uh, what? I have to know yeah. who made the hashtag, who was the brilliant idea of the hashtag Feel the Burn? Yeah, I, what there, you couldn't find out. It was a woman involved in the campaign. I mean, I don't know the whole background, but it's a great. My favorite new Bernie slogan now is talk Bernie to me. I think it's great. Oh, that's and funny. he's got the best yeah. memes ever. Yeah. Yeah. So so just give a breakdown of yeah. what's happening, okay, where, right. where, all of that. Right, right, right. February 5th at the House of Yes. That's Friday uh, night. This Friday. This Friday. The advanced tickets are twenty dollars. We still have tickets left. It's you know, the capacity is like four hundred. I mean, we're at like Almost 300 tickets. God, that's so. great. Yeah. No, it's going to be a big it's ass be party. Big for real. Big it's ass party. Ass party. It's going to live up to his name. Yeah. Um, we have a lot of, you know, Steve, we have a, the first hours of a lot of the, the anti-folk crowd, you know, a lot of the Goodbye Blue Monday, old mainstays, Joe Pro, Ryan, nice. you know, I love him. And um, my friend Andrew is going to be doing these socialist sing-alongs, which I think will be great. Um, aerialists. Sword Swallowers, Fire, a 10-piece flamenco set, the band, um, Bollywood, Burlesque. I mean, it's kind of just like a mashup of just everything. It's just like, who cares? Like, let's make it as weird as possible. At Zero Boy, do you know Zero Boy? I'm not That's sure. a weird, like, he's a weird performance artist. I know it's Meg like, is going to be there. Meg. The girls, the rappers. Oh, yeah, Handjob Academy, Handjob Academy. Handjob Academy, Netherlands, they're going to be there. Netherlands is, how did they describe themselves? Post-punk, sludge, thrash, you know? Um, it's going it. to be a really, yeah, a really, big really ass party. fun show. My mom just confirmed that she'll be selling brownies. Oh, what uh, kind? serious. <laughs> Bernie brownies. 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 brownies? Yeah. That's what we're going to start calling them. Bernie brownies. Don't talk to my mom about Bernie brownies. Uh, She's like 70. But you know, it's just like, so it's all from the heart. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, shut up. Shut up. Yeah. So, ageism. How old? I know. It's good. He's like, he's like oh, 70. 70 something. Yeah. But he's fit, man. He released his like health record. He's fit. Yeah, he is. He's, oh, no. He's, he's fine. He's good. He's good. So. So that's that's what I said. I love, I love Bernie. He's great. His so hair would be fun. perfect for Manic Panic. Oh, oh my god. god! It would be perfect for Manic Panic. You could do it oh any color. God. So do you like carrot cake? I do love carrot cake. Well, cake. today's National Carrot Cake oh, that's Day. So cool! So I please never help knew. yourself to carrot cake. Thank you so and, um, much. And then we need to get the skeleton from your closet. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. The, the, oh, the first one that came to mind was, like, actually, when I lived here, I was a nude model for oh. School of Visual Arts. Good for you. The it's a skeleton for you. I mean, I don't care. Yeah. Like, you know, Would you do it again? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to sit there for so long, you know? Um, you Did you make some good money? Up. I mean, in the 90s, I made like $18 an hour. Not bad. That's not a bad. lot that's of good. money. Yeah. That's unti- you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That's but good. I would say that's my skeleton. Okay, that works. Yeah. That works. And so so Friday night. Friday night, 7 p.m. Sorry, House of Yes. Um, just Google Big Ass Party for Bernie. It's all over the place. It you is. can't miss it. No. You'll be able to get, you know? Yeah. But get tickets in advance. It's just so cool that you know Heather. It's amazing. That's I really know, cool. I just realized it. But I love that. Ago. Yeah. That's really and cool. And Bernie knows about the party now. Like, from right. now. Yeah. It's exciting. It's and good. The, the artist who did the party used to do, like, I know I'm from the New York hardcore scene. Like, I always used to hang out at Cornell High and go to uh-huh. all the hardcore shows and CBGBs. And he did all the flyers for, like, Murphy's Law. Right. You know, like, Jimmy of course. Gustavo. Of course. Yeah. So he's that guy. And when it, the, the party, like, the party just came to me in a flash. I'm like, I'm going to do a party. He's just going to do the flyers, and these going to be the people, and this is yeah. going to happen. And so I is there a website flyer. that you want people to... Just Google Big Ass Party for Bernie. There and you the go. event right, the ticket page come right will up. come right up, and, and a bunch of the things. So, yeah. Oh, and the Denmark National News is going to be there. Good for you. For the party, because they're like... They love Bernie, and they love Americans that love Bernie. So a lot of them do. Yeah. And it seems like it's growing. True that. Well, exactly. Would you like yeah. to push a button for Bernie? Uh, okay, yeah. Wait, I just have one question. What? Why did Ben and Jerry's make an ice cream, and they only made, like, 50 pints of oh, it? Oh, shit. Of Bernie. I didn't know that. There's so much, like, I yeah. can't They only the gave it to Bernie's staff. Oh, no. That was one pint for each state. That yeah. is so funny. <laughs> Maybe. I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know that. Is, are they waiting to see what happens? I don't know. I I mean, he's from that. Vermont. You would think he would have a flavor by now. I know. He should, right? Yeah. I love Ben and Jerry. <laughs> like, what's that about? Should he will. And I think Bernie is here to stay. I, I got think. it. Peanut butter Bernie. Peanut butter Bernie. <laughs> Peanut butter Bernie. <laughs> but I there don't you know. remember what it is. Okay. But it's, all right. Push your button okay. for Bernie. Ah! Two guys the, out. Yeah! yeah. 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 Who? What's that you say? Infinite Reading.